and welcome to Why Not Mint Money. This is Neil Borate from the Mint Money team. And I can't think of a more exciting day than to be talking to a fund manager. So joining me today is Tahir Bacha, who is CIO Equities at Invesco Mutual Fund. Welcome, Tahir. Thanks, Neil. So very broadly speaking, you would say that the markets are quite attractively valued, valued now? I think they're getting into that range, clearly. I mean, we've, uh, in the last uh, three years or four years since demonetization happened, I think this is the first time around that the Nifty and the overall market and the broad aggregates, most of the frontline indices are now trading at a discount to their long-term averages. Uh, and uh, long-term by which I mean the last 10, 12, 15 year averages. So uh, all along in the last three, four years, investors typically have been complaining that look, Nifty is at elevated levels. Nifty is trading at 25 uh, times at 20% premium to probably its long-term average. Now that 20% premium has actually come down to a discount. Uh, so these typically, that typically heralds a good starting point. It may not necessarily imply a bottom, but it is a good starting point. And uh, you managed some tremendous outperformance with Investor Contra, with Investor Contra Fund. So what's the secret sauce? So look, I think the discipline with which a contra fund is should be run is essentially the most important reason why our contra fund has probably been able to perform the way it has performed in the last five years. I think. Uh, uh, the key element of five, seven, ten years as well. I think the key element of that discipline is the fact that you run it as per mandate. Okay, and the mandate is about buying things which are undervalued or going through trouble or maybe turnaround situations. That is the theme of the contra fund. So we are buying things which are inexpensive, inexpensive for a reason. Okay, uh, they are going through headwinds in their business or they are going through tough times uh, or there are maybe balance sheet related challenges. Uh, uh, it could be specific to that industry or it could be specific to that company as well. So that is the starting point. But uh, you're buying essentially into pessimism. So you have to make sure that you're buying inexpensive. You, you can't buy things in the contra fund which are already expensive, which are well discovered or which are already growing. That's not the start, can't be the starting point of a contra fund. So we have to buy things which are uh, inexpensive to begin with. Over a period of time, as you see some of your stories in Contra pan out and the businesses turn around the way you expect them to or revert back to growth or whatever, the sell discipline is equally important. You can't have a situation where the Contra fund then beyond a particular point uh, starts falling into love with those stocks that you've owned. So you bought it at 10p and it's probably become 25 or 30p and you would now say that no, no, it's now a growth company and I would not like to sell it. I bought it at 1000 bucks and it's now 7000 bucks, so why should I sell? It doesn't work that way. You have to create a sell discipline as well. That If it becomes expensive, then contra fund, Invesco India contra fund will not tolerate that. So contra fund keeps the discipline of having a very, very strong, or shall I say a very high threshold in terms of uh, uh, valuations. You you don't allow, you don't buy companies with are rich, which are rich on valuations to begin with. And you also don't overstate in companies where valuations turn reasonably. Uh, expensive. So there you have it folks, uh, one thing you can do is buy into the pessimism. That's it from us at Why Not Mint Money. Thank you Tahir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for